Hello and welcome to CSCAR tutorial videos. My name is Sergey and today I'm going to tell you about email settings of CSCAR. Before we begin to set up our emails, we need to make some preparations. First, we need to check the administrators page. To access the administrators page, we need to go to customers, administrators. This page allows us to view and edit the profiles of our administrators. For now, we need to check only one field in the profile. Let's go to the administrator's profile. Right, look at the email field. This is what we need. Before setting up your emails, you need to enter a valid email for your administrator. After that, we need to go to the company settings. Here, you need to enter the right addresses for all your departments, like user department, site administrator, order department and so on. You can use more than one email for every department, just use commas to divide them from each other. After we made all the preparations, we can go to the email settings. The first setting here is the method of sending emails. It is the most important one, by the way. We have three options here, via SMTP server, via PHP mail function and via send mail program. The default one is PHP mail function. This method is already set up and ready for work, and I recommend you to use this method for sending your emails. Usually the same mail program is also ready for work, but if you need to set it up manually, you just need to enter the right path at the setting field below. To demonstrate to you how PHP mail method works, I'm going to change the status of some orders. After changing the status, the notification will be sent to the orders department email. By the way, two checkboxes under the status list allow you to choose either to notify your customers and department or not about status changes. After changing the status from open to processed, I'm going to visit my orders department email box. The notification has arrived, now let's dig in and see the insights of it. The notification consists of four elements – header, text of the message, invoice and footer. I'm skipping the send mail demonstration because it works just fine with the basic version of CS card. Instead of this, I'm going to show you how to set up the SMTP server. Before proceed, I must warn you that I'm not sure that I will be able to show you a full demonstration of the SMTP method, uh, because on my server there might be some restrictions about SSL connections. First we need to enter the host name. If you use Gmail, then it's gotta be something like this, SMTP gmail.com and the number of a port is uh, 465. The next field is the username. Usually the username is your Gmail address. Next you need to make up a password for your SMTP server. I'm going to use uh, some simple password like test. Use encrypted connection. The SMTP server requires SSL connection. And the last one here, use SMTP authentication. Of course, check this box. Let's turn the opened order number 89 into processed. Okay. Okay. Uh, here you can see the error message. The message could not be sent. SMTP connect failed. Just like I warned you, uh, this is happened because of the SSL uh, settings. If the same happens to your SMTP connection, then I suggest you to contact your server administrator. Some of the SSL settings on your server might be disabled and this might be the reason behind this error. That's it for today. Hope you will find an email sending method that suits you best. Thanks for watching and see you in the next CSCAR tutorial videos.